you installed windows on your chromebook now you want to go back and use chrome os in this video i'll show you how to do that um, you should make sure your right protection screw is out of the board or the battery is disconnected and you need two usb drives one should be four gig and above and eight the other should be eight gig and above now let's go to this website and download the linus image to create a bootable usb drive this is why we are going to use the pen drives for the 4 gig will keep the linus image and the 8 gig will keep the chromebook recovery image let's open another tab and download this software rufus we will use rufus to create the linus mint bootable usb drive so open your internet browser and type rufus download if you are using the 64 bit you download the first one if you are using the 32 bit version of windows you download the 86 bit version now that the rufus is done downloading then our linus image is also ready open rufus select the this image where you downloaded the linus to is in my downloads folder so i'll select it now change partition scheme to gpt and click on start it will take a little while to finish creating the usb drive click ok ok this drive will be completely formatted so make sure if you have any files that you would like to keep you should do that before you use the rufus to create the bootable now let's create the chrome recovery utility drive that we will use to recover our chrome os open your internet browser and search for chrome recovery utility click on the first link you should do this in a in a chrome browser you click add to chrome add extension and it will be added to your extensions but before we create the chromebook recovery utility make sure the pen drive which is the 8 gig pen drive and above is formatted in ntfs format if you format it in fat formats and you use it to create it to take a long while so format it using the file system ntfs now go to chrome open the extension chrome recovery utility extension so as i said your drive should be 8 gig or larger click on get started and enter the model you see in the previous video when the chromebook went into developer mode you see the model under it under the os verification so this one is snappy es something you can type in those model or you can select from the model list so you see as you start typing it you add a match will be found or alternately you can select a model directly if you know it by looking at the stickers on your laptop select your drive usb drive click on continue show advanced options settings and select stable download now click continue this will take a long while for it to be done so i'll skip i'll skip all of this process when it's done you see the screen click on done now let's go to our chromebook insert the linus mint and then turn it on and keep on pressing escape to access the boot menu navigate to the boot menu and select the linus mint usb drive it will take a long time i've skipped most part of the video you click you select start linus 2.1 i'll leave the link to download the linus in the video description this will take a long time you should be patient it's not as short as you are seeing in this video you select a network or a wi-fi 
and then you connect it now on the tax bar click on terminal that black icon there shortcut on the tax bar terminal to open the terminal we will use this terminal to download the firmware that will help us go back to chrome os now type in these codes as you see it on your screen it's just under the screen type it as you see it so you see the tilde and then the other ones you press enter after typing it Um, now we are going to select restore stock firmware restore stock firmware and you should make sure your right protest screw is out or your battery is disconnected i didn't do that before i started this video so i'll get the, an error as we proceed if you did as i said in uh, in the beginning of the video you will not get this error so you select restore stock firmware yes we want to continue why now we will restore using a chrome os recovery usb so select the option that shows on it as such on your screen connect the chrome os or the chrome os recovery image pen drive so we will insert our 8 gig or above or larger pen drive and then select it so um in my case i use the 16 gb and it's showing 14.65 you press the number as it shows and then yes yeah, so as i said I, I got an error but if your right protection screw is out or your battery is disconnected you won't get this error press enter to go to main menu and then p to p off remove the linus mint drive as well and press enter turn it on again and press ctrl d to skip os verification for now we will do the os verification later now make sure you insert the chrome os recovery drive the one that we used you insert it and this process will take a little while so i'll skip this for, uh, these steps verifying the integrity of your recovery media to take a while you should be patient after this is done it will say system recovery is complete now all we have to do is remove the recovery drive or the sd card and your chrome os will start but first let's turn it off and i'll connect my battery you should also connect your battery at, at this point if you have a screw you connect the screw you turn it on and this time we will turn on os verification so you press space bar to turn it on and enter and it will boot in verified mode welcome now connect to a network you can either install update and it will take a little while i recommend you do that or you skip and remind later you click on that one but i recommend you search for the updates or you can sign in so this is how to restore your chrome os 